sun. The frosting on my donut all came off in the inside of the bag. Open the bag up and eat it. <laughs> you're not six years old, you Mario. A, you absolute savage. <laughs> you're telling me to rip open the bag to lick the chocolate off the inside of the, the bag? Who can, are you? I can buy you a candy bar. I don't need a candy bar. I just When you buy a donut, I just want all the donut. <laughs> I know. You know? While we were parked, I just want to point out that the guy in the 2006 white Ford Explorer that was absolutely bouncing the two chains um, looked at me like I was crazy as I ate the out of the chocolate on the inside of that bag. I just couldn't do it with you around. <laughs> he looked at me like I was insane. <laughs> I, I, I got nothing. <laughs>
I don't, yeah. I don't foresee any circumstance to which he retains his job, either for the rest of the season or coming into next year. I just don't foresee that happening. Could they keep him around for the rest of the year? I mean, you've got three games left in the year, man. That's, you know you're not going to gain anything by losing no. him at this point, like firing him and bringing somebody else in. You're not, you're not really helping yourself or hurting yourself there. So it's, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know if they're going to make a move in season, but I just can't foresee a circumstance where he's back next year. Um, Dable, on the other hand, you know, the Bills are scoring points now. Yes, it's, it's up the him. legs. I know, We're it's up the legs in of the spite of him. We're doing, doing it in spite of him. I don't know. It's not in spite of him. You, despite his best efforts, <laughs> the team is scoring at a better rate than the game he is calling. Is that fair to say? True. Okay. But you know what's going to happen. We already know the ending of the story. Frazier gets hired. And we got... We're going to get Crossman and Dable again. You really I, know that, right? I, I really am concerned about the whole hiring another offensive coordinator thing. Uh, but I don't want that to sound like I want continuity in the coaching staff. You know, a lot of people in, in Buffalo are afraid to fire a coach or afraid to do this because we've done it for so many years. That's been the answer to everything in Buffalo the last 20 years is, oh, it doesn't work, fire him, let's move on. It doesn't work, out, fire him, let's move on. True. And you're constantly rebuilding that way. You're just always in a constant state of change. Because you know, you're close to different philosophies all Exactly, right. So I don't think releasing Dable from his contract does that, right? I, I don't think you're changing philosophies because you still have McDermott, you still have Bean. That's all staying consistent. Yeah. Um, but I just haven't been impressed with Dable after halftime. I, I, he had a couple game games build. where the script coming out at the half wasn't bad. Okay, um, the script for the Minnesota game wasn't bad. Oh my God, can we stop talking about the Minnesota game like it matters at this point, though? I, I mean, dude, that was like ten weeks ago. This channel's about to be over because I'm about to be done. With it. <laughs> We're over. He has he has flashes of okay, all right, that was a nice call. All right, that was a good call. But the middle of the game is so boring. And it's yeah. so, okay, you can plan going into a game, these are the defense's strengths, these are defense's weaknesses, this is what we're going to try to attack, this is what we're going to do, blah, blah, blah. Okay, when they finally adjust to the things you're doing, can you adjust again? You got It's a chess match. you got to stay a, a three moves ahead of your opponent every time. Yeah, but we had and some, he doesn't. But we had some great comments in the post game in the live chat from, like, Bills fans, 7883, and Big Spence. And, like, we had a lot of – and John Patrick made a couple great points. I, I don't mean to call people out specifically because I'm going to exclude some people. We, the live chat, I think, is a great example of a lot of people feel like this isn't on Allen. If it's not on Allen, then is isn't on Dable because you're working with – a constant barrage of changing wide receivers. You have an offensive line that's a total disaster. How much of this is really on Dable? Is the fact that the Bills are scoring points while interchanging show that he's successful, at least in in, in a portion of his job? Objectively. It's hard for me to be that at this point. But, okay. objectively speaking... 99 yards, 135 yards, 101 yards today. All rushing by Allen in the last three games. What did that cover up? Because I could tell you right now, if Dable went to McDermott and said, hey, listen, you want this offense to be successful? You want to score points? Yeah. Allen's got to run for 100 every game. No. We drafted him seventh. You're going to get him killed. I only have one or two called runs in there. Okay. You could be of that school of thought where Allen's running is covering up some very shady schemes, things that aren't working, the run line, the, the run, the O-line, all this other stuff. Or you could be on the other side of that and saying, listen, Allen is completely raw. He's not seeing the open guys. He's not getting the ball out of his hands. He's doing one read and running, and because he's so athletic, you know, it you can think about it in that respect to say, hey, Dable called a pass play and the kid's running. Right. He, I, like, I didn't call a pass. You know, what is he covering up in the scheme, the O-line or the receivers that's really breaking down? Mm -hmm. And we're not really going to fully going to know that, which is why he'll probably be here again next year. 
So you're saying that Gable stays? He's gonna be here. Think so? Just for my bane of my existence. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really fun game, by the way. If you guys have never played this game before, it's pretty fun. I just bought a king size Starburst since we've been filming this episode. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm opening. Oh, yeah. That's I pop it, I'm like, oh, that's lemon. <laughs> the whole time you're talking, that, that's strawberry. That's cherry. <laughs> Fun game. You want to play? No. Getting back to Dable, though, objectively, that's my stance on that. What is all this running by Allen covering up? His own his own inadequacies, the scheme, the online, line or the receivers? I think yes. Right? Mm-hmm. I think yes is an answer to that question. There's a lot there's a lot of development that needs to happen because the cast of characters has changed so much. Yes, it's true. You know. That's that works in Dable's favor. It does work in Dable. There's a lot of excuses that we can make for the offense. Absolutely. No a question. Lot of excuses. No question at all. I mean no, no question, no doubt. Um I just I, I struggle to see where if you want to think of it this way, think of it in this respect. What does Dable give him to make him better? But that's not his. What is that? But isn't that Cully's job, the what? quarterbacks coach? No, I'm not just talking Allen? about individual development of Allen. Uh huh. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about working on his technique. I'm not talking about working on this X's uh -huh. and O's and stuff. Like that. I'm talking about the offensive game plan. What about this offensive game plan makes you look makes it look like one like the Eagles? Makes it look like one like the Colts? Yeah, you know, I know. I know. I'm not naming the top upper echelon guy. You know, because Reed is by himself up there. Right. As far as designing game plans and stuff yeah. like that. But I'm talking about what makes this offense... Does Dable have the capacity within him to make that offense look like that? And my objective answer is no. I don't think he does. I think my biggest concern um, about the development of Josh Allen is by the instruction of Brian Dable. Because Allen is running so much... I'm very curious what his instruction is. Like, is it look at the read, look at your first read. If it's not there, go up there and so. Then you can place it on Dable. Then you can place it. Right, exactly. But these these are these could develop bad habits that will haunt the Bills for the next seven, eight years. Or the Allen. next three, four carries. You can get a shot. You could take a shot next week against Detroit and be out. Yeah. Yep. He's not well protected at all. He's not well insulated from injury because you're asking him to do a lot. He has learned to slide, though. The, you know, honestly, it's the worst hits that he takes is when he's rolling out and not running. And yeah. he tries to get rid of the ball. Yep. Well, again, you know, he's a guy that depends on his arm strength, so he waits till the last second to get rid of the ball because he knows he's got the time. He's got the arm to sling it. He does. So he can he can afford to wait. But, um, you know, quarterbacks are protected in this league when they're in the pocket. It's removing that protection that becomes a problem. Now, Allen has taken advantage of it when he's scrambled and run for yards because you can see defenders are afraid to hit him, but that's not going to last. He does run pretty upright. He does run very upright, and that's not going to last. 